Leonard Ellerby, formerly the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, has been dismissed by Floyd Mayweather after serving in the position for several years. Ellerby has now come forward with troubling revelations about Mayweather's conduct, alleging that his firing stemmed from his knowledge of Mayweather's misuse of company funds to finance a lavish lifestyle. Now, free from his role, Ellerby is determined to make this information public. Allerby and Mayweather have had a close professional relationship and friendship over the years. They were often seen together at press conferences and interviews, with Allerby playing a significant role in Mayweather's business affairs. This closeness means Allerby has first-hand knowledge of Mayweather's personal and business life, giving weight to his disclosures. Speaking out about these matters wasn't easy for Allerby, who emphasizes he isn't fabricating stories to harm Mayweather's reputation. He believes it's crucial for transparency within Mayweather's company and for stakeholders who have invested their money to understand what is happening behind the scenes. Allerby argues that even though Mayweather's name is on the company, responsibility for any wrongdoing should be acknowledged and addressed. In response to Allerby's revelations, Jeff Mayweather, another prominent figure associated with the company, has offered his perspective. Jeff clarified that Ellerby's departure from Mayweather's company wasn't due to animosity or financial mismanagement, as suggested by Ellerby. Instead, Jeff asserts that Ellerby wanted to pursue new opportunities and explore different interests. He characterizes their parting as amicable, focusing on Ellerby's desire for change rather than any internal strife. Ellerby's decision to speak out reflects his commitment to accountability and transparency in business practices. His disclosures have sparked public interest and scrutiny into Mayweather Promotions operations, highlighting the complexities of managing a high-profile sports and entertainment enterprise. As the story continues to unfold, Allerby's revelations underscore the importance of ethical governance and fiduciary responsibility in corporate environments. It, it could have played a part. Um, I mean, if you're in between promotions and you're working with one and you're not working with the other. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, but um, I, don't, I don't think there was no, like I said, I don't think there was no animosity or anything. Many fans remain skeptical of Jeff Mayweather's explanation, citing past indications of friction between Leonard Ellerby and Floyd Mayweather. Speculation often aligns with instinct, and while caution with rumors is prudent, there's a growing suspicion that Ellerby and Floyd's split may have deeper roots than initially portrayed. Recently, Ellerby shed light on the situation by alleging that Floyd misappropriated company funds to support his lavish lifestyle. For many, this revelation raises significant concerns. Despite Floyd Mayweather's extensive business ventures, including nightclubs, hotels, and real estate across the USA, and ventures in the Middle East, questions persist about the veracity of Ellerby's claims. Jeff Mayweather added another dimension, noting that Ellerby's decision to join another promotion company played a pivotal role in his dismissal. Floyd reportedly reacted strongly upon learning of Ellerby's new job, imposing severe consequences. This reaction, while understandable given Floyd's role as the company owner, underscores tensions that existed beyond public perception. The unfolding saga underscores the complexities of managing high-profile sports enterprises and the importance of transparency in corporate governance. As scrutiny intensifies, Allerby's disclosures continue to fuel discussions about accountability and ethical standards within Mayweather promotions. They don't think, like, you don't think Twitter holds a lot of substance, but did you see some of the rumors flying around about Leonard might be leaving Mayweather promotions? Man, I don't listen to none of that stuff. I'm doing what I do. I'm doing what I do. Is there any truth to any of that? No. That's a, that's a resounding no. <laughs> Leonard Ellerby had close ties with both Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather. For those unfamiliar, Heyman formerly managed Floyd during his boxing career, deepening Ellerby's connections with both figures. According to Jeff Mayweather, Ellerby's reluctance to sever ties with Heyman contributed to the rift between Mayweather and Ellerby, shedding light on the underlying reasons for their strained relationship. Floyd Mayweather, renowned as the highest-paid boxer ever with a staggering net worth of $450 million, also holds a prominent role as the head of a leading boxing promotion. Leonard Ellerby played a pivotal role in building Mayweather's promotions, which have partnered with top boxing stars such as Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney, solidifying Mayweather's empire in the boxing world. 
The situation is intriguing due to apparent contradictions in Leonard Ellerby's statements. Shortly before announcing his departure, Ellerby vehemently denied any possibility of such a move in an interview with boxing journalist Sean Zid, making his stance clear that he paid no heed to rumors. When directly questioned about rumors of a split between him and Floyd, Ellerby emphatically stated there was no truth to it. Leonard is still in a good position, and um, I don't think that um, it was any animosity between Floyd and, and Leonard. I just think that um, it was just time for him to move on. The abrupt change in direction raises questions about what transpired behind the scenes. Did new developments prompt Ellerby's change of heart, or were there undisclosed factors influencing his decision? Such uncertainties only deepen the intrigue surrounding the situation and fuel speculation about the true reasons for Ellerby's departure. Floyd Mayweather's decision to part ways with Ellerby appears to have been a difficult one. Despite this, Mayweather had only positive things to say about the former CEO, expressing gratitude for Ellerby's role in elevating Mayweather promotions to new heights. In an Instagram post, where Mayweather boasts nearly 30 million followers, he credited Ellerby as the driving force behind the promotion's success. He officially acknowledged Ellerby's departure and announced Richard Schieffer's appointment as a significant development for Mayweather promotions. Mayweather's Instagram statement outlined Ellerby's decision to step down from his CEO role to prioritize family and loved ones after years of dedication. While respecting Ellerby's choice, Mayweather emphasized gratitude for his leadership that helped shape Mayweather promotions into a thriving organization. Despite the official reasons provided, Mayweather hinted at underlying complexities, suggesting there might be more to the story than meets the eye. Following Schieffer's appointment, he swiftly addressed the boxing community, underscoring his extensive financial expertise and decades of experience in promotional boxing. This move marks a new chapter for Mayweather promotions, promising further evolution and growth under Schieffer's leadership. The transition from Allerby to Schieffer underscores the dynamic nature of sports promotion and the intricate relationships within the industry. As the saga continues to unfold, observers await further developments that could shed light on the full scope of changes within Mayweather promotions. Floyd and I have been friends for a long time and obviously we've had great, the success I was very fortunate to promote, many of his biggest fights breaking PPV records, and there was always a mutual respect between the two of us. In his statement, Schieffer underscored Floyd Mayweather's iconic stature, highlighting Mayweather's global influence and extensive reach. He boasts over 30 million followers on Instagram alone. Schieffer drew comparisons between Mayweather and legendary figures like Tom Brady, stressing the profound impact Mayweather has made not just in sports, but globally. He described Mayweather as not just an athlete but a global brand with unparalleled reach and potential for expansion both within and outside of boxing. Floyd is a global icon, a global brand, Schieffer remarked. He has 30 million followers on Instagram, twice as many as Tom Brady. That demonstrates the extraordinary reach Floyd possesses. He truly embodies the essence of a brand, and I believe there's a tremendous opportunity to further elevate and diversify that brand. With Leonard Ellerby no longer associated with Mayweather promotions, speculation has arisen about whether he might reveal more about Mayweather, given his close friendship and extensive knowledge of Mayweather's business and personal life. Allerby's recent disclosures have already cast Mayweather in a different light for many observers, prompting discussions about Mayweather's legacy and public image. Schieffer's comments signal a new phase for Mayweather promotions under his leadership, hinting at potential expansions and strategic developments aimed at enhancing Mayweather's brand both within and beyond the realm of boxing. As the situation continues to unfold, observers and fans alike are encouraged to share their perspectives on these developments and the future trajectory of Mayweather promotions in the comments below.